I feel so much better. It's, it's, it's all I needed. Fresh air and some delicious gruel. <laughs> now all I need is a little, uh, a little respite. Yes. In the morning I'll, I'll count my money. Perhaps I should just check around a bit, uh, just to be sure. <laughs> Uh, of course not. Uh, yeah. I don't believe in such nonsense. Uh, oh, yes. yes. Good night. window. Uh, I, I am a man. I cannot fly. Touch my hand. Huh? Now go! Ah! the city. This is the countryside. It's no longer night. Do you know where we are, Ebenezer? Oh my goodness. I, I, was, I was a boy here. This, this is where I spent my childhood. Do you recollect the way? Oh, recollect it? Why, why, I can walk it blindfold. Strange to have forgotten it for all these years. Oh, oh, look, look, over there. Why, that's that's the old church where I was baptized. Oh, and down the street, down the street, there's the little shop. We'd, we'd buy our, our penny candies. <laughs> oh, there's the old schoolhouse and all my old classmates. Oh, I remember them all. Oh, there's, oh, there's Maxwell. Oh, he was a Funny one! <laughs> oh, oh, and there's Alexander. Oh, oh, he was a smart one. Yes. Oh, and there's Isabella. She was so beautiful. Huh? <laughs> and where are you, Ebenezer? Uh, I'm off by myself, feeling a little sad and lonely, uh, a little angry with the other children. They always seem to have more fun than me. What's the I wish. Well, there was a, a young boy singing lonely, singing Christmas carols at my door last night. I should like to have given him something, that's all. Come, Scrooge, to another Christmas. <laughs> oh, my goodness! What is it, Scrooge? Oh, oh that, that marvelous laugh! Why? It's old Fezziwig and his jolly wife. Why, I was his apprentice as a young man. Oh, yes, he was such a kind and generous man. And, and Christmas time for him was the jolliest time of the year. 
Come, my dear, it's Christmas. There'll be no more work today. Let's time for the fiddler to play and for us to dance. Young Ebenezer, Dick Wilkins, put down your books, stop your work, and get ready to shake your feet as though your job's depended on it. Play, fiddler, play. Spirit, it isn't the money. He, he has the power to, to make us happy or unhappy. Why, well, there wasn't a day I worked for old Fezziwig that I wouldn't gladly have worked twice as much. Why, why, when money had nothing to do with it. Oh. What's the matter, Ebenezer? Uh, nothing, nothing. It is time for us to go, Ebenezer. Go? Oh, no, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to go back. I want to stay here with my old friends and, and old Fezziwig. It is time, it is... Ebenezer. Yes. My light is fading. Yes, yes, yes. Me. Yes, yes, I'm coming. I'm coming. Scrooge! Ebenezer Scrooge. Come in and know me better, man. <laughs> Why so meek and fearful, Scrooge? Uh, uh, are you the spirit of... I am the spirit of Christmas presents. Look upon me and be joyous. <laughs> oh, I, I do not feel joyous. You've not seen the like of me before, have you? Uh, never. Have you not walked with the younger members of my family? I, I, I don't think I have. Uh, uh, have you many brothers, Spirit? Oh, yes. More than 1,800. Oh, a tremendous family to provide for. Oh, Spirit, uh, conduct me where you will. If you have anything to teach me, I am ready. Well, touch my robe. Do you see, Scrooge, the miners who labor in the bowels of the earth, their faces covered with soot from their endless toil? Yes. They, they, they seem to be celebrating something. Celebrating, yes, the joyousness of the holidays, in spite of their lives. And now, Ebenezer, tell me what you see. Oh, why, I, I see a great gathering of, of, of many people. Oh, they appear to be poorly dressed. <laughs> yes, Ebenezer, they are poorly dressed. But what is odd about this scene? Well, they too seem to be celebrating, yes. Celebrating the holidays, the generosity brought about by people more fortunate than themselves. And now, Ebenezer, gaze upon this scene. <laughs> oh, now stop it, Bob! What the children think? Oh, then I still think you're the loveliest girl in the world, Mrs. Cratchit. <laughs> you're hopeless. Now taste the pudding and tell me the truth. Okay. Oh. I think it's the most wonderful pudding in the world. Cooked by the most wonderful cook who's ever cooked. It's so silly. <laughs> Is it really all right? Oh, my darling, it's delicious. And the children will stuff their fat faces with it. Oh, I'm so <laughs> relieved. You know, you didn't tell me how Tim behaved at church today. Oh, as good as gold and better. You know, he says the strangest things you've ever heard. He said today in church that he hoped the people saw him and that because he was crippled, it might help them remember who it was on Christmas Day that helped lame beggars to walk and blind men to see. He's such a good boy, isn't he, Bob? Yes, my dear. Do you think he'll be all right, Bob? Yes. Yes, I think he'll be strong again. Good. <laughs> well, we should serve the Christmas pudding. Yes, yes. The children will be banging their spoons on the table soon. Children, here comes your mother's most delicious Christmas pudding ever. Oh, Bob. <laughs> Spirit, what, what, what was Cratchit and his wife talking about? His, 
His son Tim being sick. Yes, Tim is sick. Has been for a long time. Uh, why doesn't Cratchit take him to a doctor? He cannot afford to take the lad to a doctor. The man can barely afford to buy enough food to eat. I, I did not know. You did not want to know. Uh, why didn't Cratchit say something to me if I, if I had known? No nonsense, I... Scrooge. If you had known, you would have done nothing. Spirit, could you tell me, please, will, will, will Tiny Tim live? I see an empty seat in a poor chimney corner, a crutch with no owner. If these shadows remain unchanged, the child will die. Oh, oh no, no, no kind spirit say, say he will be spared. What? Is that you, Ebenezer? Wouldn't you be more like to say if he's going to die, he'd better do it and decrease the circle of population? I did not know what I was saying. You did not know what you were saying. Would you decide what men live and what men die? Or could it be that you are less worthy and more like to die than the millions like that poor man's child? Bah! Time to go. Oh, oh spirit, uh, before you go, would you tell me, please, what are these strange and hideous creatures that seem to hang upon you? Would you know, Scrooge? Come, see for yourself. These are man's creations. You see before you. Poverty. Oh, horrible. Sickness. Oh, oh, dreadful. Ignorance. Oh, no. And helplessness. Oh, my goodness. Is there nowhere for them to find, find shelter and food? Are there no prisons? Are there no workhouses? Are there no prisons? Are there no workhouses? Are there no prisons? Are there no workhouses? No. No. No.